All aboard the Fat Train to Skinnyville. If you are fat or plump, wanna lose your gut or rump, get on the fat train. Wipe away that frown, watch the scales go down on the fat train. A few weeks from now, people will ask you how you don't look the same. You will smile and grin and say you took a spin on the fat train. If you can see ahead and you've got the will, you will arrive in Skinnyville on the fat train. things to keep in mind when you're growing plants from seeds. If you water your seedlings too much, they'll get, you know, sort of spindly. Their stems will really, really shoot out because they just got so much water. And another is if the light is not close enough to them and they're stretching to see the light. And what I like to do with mine is brush my hand across them because every time you move it just like the wind so to speak every time you move it it strengthens those stems plus oh god you get to smell the tomato scent off of them I love it All right, we're still growing some new seeds coming up that's where I planted a uh, just a slice of tomato just for the heck of it well, let's go outside. Let's talk. Well, how y'all doing? Woo! -hoo! Time to be on that fat train. How's everybody doing today? It's Fat Train Thursday. Woo! Old Paul, Paul, he's. I ain't doing wonderful. I ain't gained no weight. I ain't gained no weight. But I ain't been losing none. I've been staying in the house all cooped up, but now then this weather's breaking, I got a lot of physical manual labor to do. And I know them calories are gonna start getting burnt here pretty quick. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you that out here is where we're gonna have the garden. And I'm gonna get out here and drive up some fence posts and cut some chicken wire and stretch some string. And, and I thought maybe that might interest you today. And you might say, well, what's that got to do with the fat train? Well, we want to eat good, fresh vegetables, low in calories, high in nutrition. And if we can burn a few calories producing our food instead of sitting at the house and just picking up the phone and ordering it, <laughs> then uh, we're, getting a, we're being able to burn off some of that fat. In the, in the production of our crop. So, I mean, after all, how many fat farmers do you know? I mean, guys that are actually out there working the fields and farming. How many fat ones do you know? There ain't too damn many. <laughs> Every farmer I ever met was either in excellent shape or he was skinny as a rail. <laughs> Except for cattle farmers. I've met a bunch of them, big old fat guys. So they ride around and pick up trucks all day. <laughs> So how have y'all been? How have y'all been? It's uh, uh, Please feel free to leave comments on here about how your weight loss is going. Um, I, I will be following up this video with one about a tuna, a tuna fish mix, sandwich, wrap, whatever. Uh, a low calorie, a low calorie, uh, wrap using tuna fish and some fresh vegetables you know celery and onions stuff like that 
And uh, so that, that recipe will be coming up here in a day, in a day or so. Uh, we're supposed to get some pretty high winds today, so uh, I wanted to get out here and, and film what I could before this wind starts making so much noise on that microphone you can't hear me. And those of you that said put a sock over the, over the mic, I don't have a separate microphone. It's built in right there, so I can't hide it. Uh, let's see, what else? Dead gum white car out there. Yeah, y'all can see that white car. It quit on me again. Had had to quit on the wife. Had to go rent a dolly and pull it up here. Looks like I got re I replaced the camshaft sensor. That wasn't it. So I'm gonna replace the crankshaft sen position sensor again. And I think if that does it, I think I'll sell that damn car. But if that ain't it, I'm thinking it might be the fuel pump. Even even though I can hear it run, I can't hear it shut off. So, or my wife didn't hear it shut off. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, do y'all have, let me see, where are they? <coughs> do y'all have them little helicopter seeds where you live? They're, uh, let me see, let me show you a tree. Is that a tree up there? That tree and the two next to it volunteered. What I mean by that is I didn't plant them. And we've got these little maple trees around here and they got them what I call helicopter seeds. You'll see them when they start falling, just <laughs> fluttering down. And man, them things sprout anywhere and everywhere. If you want a, if you want fast growing trees, plant you some of them, man. Or just wait, cause any crack or crevice, you're gonna start seeing them sprouting up. That's something that uh, uh, is good to plant. And I've got some walnut trees here that the squirrels were nice enough to plant over the years. <laughs> Silly things. Well, I'm grasping at, at subject matter to talk about, folks, and I don't like for a video to not be entertaining or, or uh, educational. I don't want to just run my mouth for the sake of running my mouth. So I'm gonna get out here and start setting up this, uh, this garden and probably put it on you know, probably just show blurps of it as I'm as I'm going. Let y'all see what what's up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it from this tree right here. To that tree. Then on over towards that hedge. And back up to here. And then all the way back over here to this tree again. I gotta let them two trees be corner posts, so to speak. Anyway, all this area right here is gonna be my garden. And that's what I got the cardboard for, cause I'm not gonna till it up. And people laugh at me because I use my post hole diggers to plant my seeds or to plant my plants. I don't see any reason to till the whole daggum yard. I just till up the hole I'm gonna put the plant in. <laughs> I will be back. Remember, whether it be a drill, a little side grinder, whatever, keep your tool that you need tied to the end of the cord so that you've got it when you need it. Makes me wish I had a longer tool. For those of you that know what this is, I don't need to hear no foolishness from you. Saying, Papa, what in the world are you showing that for? Everybody knows that. 
Everybody don't know this until they've been shown the first time. You know, there's people out there that's talking about homesteading and fencing and how to do this, how to do that. Don't even know what kind of light bulb to use for the baby chickens. And people are just learning and trying to start out and that's what my channel is all about, trying to teach folks. So anyway, this is called a T-Post. So when you see them advertised for sale, you know what that is. See, it's shaped like a T, okay? Depending on where you buy them, uh, for example, let's see, uh, if you buy them at Tractor Supply, they come with a bag of clips. And these clips are used to hold your wire to your uh, fence post. But uh, Lowe's, you gotta pay separate for the clips. But Tractor Supply includes them. All right, well, what I wanna show you here now, this tool right here, this is called a T-Post driver. Now, this is one that's store-bought. You can make your own, and all it amounts to is a piece of pipe with a weight in it, a big old heavy chunk of something in it. Okay, now, they make this in spring-loaded so you whittle hands don't get a lot of shock when you drive it down. But the idea is you slam it down on that on that post. I guess that spring should be pick it up. I don't know. But keep this in mind when you're buying T posts. Uh, for example, these these are six foot posts. But remember, I gotta drive it down in the ground about a foot or so. So always keep that in mind, depending on how tall a fence you want. Remember, part of that post is gonna be in the ground. So don't, drive, don't buy no six foot posts thinking you got six foot posts sticking up here. It don't work that way, okay? So uh, I've got my string stretched here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of these T posts in the ground. And uh, uh, this just takes a second. That's what I like about them. Ain't no this foolishness of using no gum hammer. That's all there is to it, unless you got rocky ground or hard, dry dirt. But uh, I, <laughs> probably didn't show this to you. This is what's on the end that goes in the ground. Okay. Anyway, this is the end that goes in the ground. So when I drive this post in the ground, I drive it just till these little fins are below ground level. That's how deep I drive mine. And these fins can be knocked off of here and adjusted to a different depth if that's what you desire. But anyway, that's driving a T-post. So I've got my string stretched. I'm gonna drive some posts and I'm gonna put up some wire.
got something new this year. 30 pound monofilament line. Okay, the idea being that I'm gonna stretch this along here a little bit above that wire. Oh, I talked to you about them helicopter seeds. There's one right there. Anyway, the idea here is I'm gonna stretch this monofilament down through there, just like a barbed wire fence. Deer won't jump something they can't see. And the idea being this 30 pound test is strong enough they can walk up to it, they can feel it, but they can't see it. They don't know what it is. And so they shy away from it. So the idea is the wires on the ground keep the rabbits out and this monofilament is supposed to keep the deer out. We'll see. Well, folks, there we go. That's a, about a third of it. <laughs> I got two short runs and another run about that long to do. But uh, just want to show that to you. Anyway, uh, I really appreciate you watching the show today. Uh, let's go in there and fix us uh, a tuna fish salad for a wrap, shall we? Oh, folks, how y'all doing? Boy, I tell you, it's been a long day today. And uh, I just want to tell you that I appreciate you so much watching my videos. Now, I got to get in here and get this thing all edited and uploaded so y'all still get it on Thursday. It might be midnight, but I'm going to try to make sure y'all have it on Thursday because this is Thursday afternoon. Well, gosh, Thursday, almost 6 o'clock at night. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.